Okay, we're in benchmark 209. Benchmark 209, resident did not leave the electrical connected. So I cannot test some of the items here. Um, in the walls, first thing I can see is just a few touch-up spots. Um, not bad at all. Blinds are in very good condition. So no need to replace those. Okay, I'm gonna be using my phone, my other phone as a flashlight. Okay, blinds here are in good shape. Let's go ahead and open this door. Okay. On the outside here, maybe just some touch of paint in that door, if possible. On the outside, this is a little balcony. Not much. Uh, it just needs some cleaning on the outside too, please. Okay, now going into the dining area. Let's take off those those screws in the wall, patch it and paint. Here we'll need paint or some little scuffs. It's, it's a little hard to see. Okay, that's better. A few marks in the wall. Okay, marks in the wall. Okay. Just touch up paint overall. Let's go ahead and clean that vent and replace the AC filter. Smoke detector, don't know if it's working. Pantry door, just clean. Possible paint if needed. I mean, there's a, I think I can see the difference in color there. The pantry. Good condition, let's just clean and touch a paint where needed. Appliances, stove, it's in good condition, doesn't seem to be messed up at all. Microwave, let's go ahead and clean the microwave, it is dirty. I can't test the light, but please check on that bottom light to see if it's working. Again here, we need some paint Touch up paint there as well. Dishwasher. There's a plate there left behind. Let's dispose of that and clean. Clean the outside of the garbage. Just I mean the dishwasher. Let's go ahead and get rid of those racks there. They left us some some cleaning supplies there. Underneath the sink. What I can do is turn on that sink. Water's flowing just fine. I want to see what's happening here. Okay. So let's see if we can cut that excess out of there. Uh, I don't see any any leaks here so that's good there's no way for me to test if there is hot water since it's all electrical here the refrigerator just needs some cleaning overall good condition outside good condition as well on the outside nothing bad here Here, I, I don't have a way to test this appliances. I'm just gonna leave those doors open. We come to the washer. Washer seems to be in decent shape. Open. Let's go ahead and remove this stuff that they left here and just clean. Yep, yeah, let's just repaint that if possible. this side there's some paint there paint there as well and they seem to well, this bottom one seems to have some this one too now we've got this water heater 
It's an electric water heater. That's the information there. Uh, it's a Kenmore. Okay. I'm going into okay some touch of paint here. We are going into the restroom. Overall, seems to be in good shape. Down here. Let's see if we can. There's no water leaks. There's this right here on the bottom board. I mean, if maybe we have to replace it, maybe we don't. You guys decide on that one. Okay. We come to the shower shower head is in some good condition let's go ahead and give that a good clean and maybe let's go ahead and re around the top of the tub here uh, so let's clean down there and i don't know that it needs caulking but you guys take a look at that Okay, let's go ahead and take this bad boy out. Shower seems to be working just fine. Top just fine. Okay. I almost wet myself there. Toilet. Clean toilet. Let's go ahead and flush it. Flush flushes just fine. Chain seems to be in very good shape there. Okay, so nothing else here. This door. It slides into that cavity there. Um, and I don't know if it's not working here. So let me go through the other side of that door. So in that restroom, just light paint here. Another wall with some screws. Let's go ahead and remove those screws, patch and paint. In the bedroom, ceiling, let's go ahead and paint that. I guess there was a repair done and it wasn't painted. Lights, I don't know if they work. There's another door to this little patio. Okay, just fine, opens fine. Let's see if we have the same brackets that hold onto the blind to put on this side it seems like they were broken right there if we don't have them it's fine closet good shape maybe just some touch of paint the AC vent let's go ahead and clean it and spray paint that white again that way it's not rusted Door seems to be fine. Outlets fine. Now we come to this other side where we have another sink. Okay, there seems to be no leaks down here. And this person was trying to protect this. Let's 
go ahead and remove that. The water here is taking a little longer to drain. Let's take a look at that, see if it's, if the plumbing there is clogged a little bit. Okay, so this door is not even budging. I've tried to do several things. Take a look at this door. It goes from the bedroom to the restroom. So I don't know if this just jammed in there, uh, what's going on. So please take a look at that. The door to the bedroom itself, let me see, has fallen off. So let's go ahead and screw that bad boy back in and place. Okay. AC vent, let's go ahead and clean that out. Spray paint it white. That way it's not ugly. Okay, on the ceiling between the living and the kitchen area, there's another spot where there is a repair and it wasn't fixed, or at least there's a crack. Okay, and that does it for benchmark 209. Everything else seems AC vent again. This is in the restroom. Clean it out and spray paint it white. If it the rust doesn't come out, then let's go ahead and replace it. What about over here? No, that is it. There's another vent here in the kitchen area. Everything else seems to be working just fine. Okay. This pantry. So then I believe those are the buckets for the ice maker. Let's see if the tenant broke that. And we need to charge them for it. They're down there. Let's see if we can reattach those bad boys into the refrigerator there. Okay, other than that, we are good. That is benchmark 209.